1935 in the Union uh, said that what they were going to do was to march down to the docks and to try to convince the, the uh, non-union workers to, to stop breaking the strike. And so there was a very large group of, of longshoremen and their supporters uh, and they marched in a, in a peaceful way down towards the, the main center of the docks which is Ballantyne Pier which still exists today. And uh, when they were approaching the docks, there was, they were met by uh, a combination of the RCMP, the Vancouver City Police, there were provincial police in existence at that time, uh, heavily armed, uh, mounted policemen, uh, policemen with clubs, tear gas, uh, machine guns, and the uh, the procession was simply broken up physically by the police and there were there were very dramatic photos of, of uh, the mounted policemen actually chasing the the uh, marchers up the streets and onto the porches of houses um, it, it really kind of physically broke up the the momentum of the of the uh, of the people's action so it was a it was a, a sh shameful day for for the Vancouver police and for the RCMP but it, but it was effective. It, it, when, when something like that happens uh, and you, you see that when they employ those kinds of forces against you and you, and you are going to get beaten up, it, it, it works. It has a demoralizing effect.